Hi. Now that we have seen a sample program with switch, I have a few tasks for you to execute. I'm going to show you one of them and I would like you to execute some of them, uh, yeah, not the other one of them, using your own uh, practice. Actually, there are a number of different tasks which I'll just add. So what I want you to do is create an up-down counter using switch, then a simple LED control using switch, then two LEDs and two switches. When one switch is pressed, both on and when other switch is pressed, both on. Again, two LEDs and two switches. And this time what I want you to do is, I want you to do LED control on individual switches. When one switch is pressed, LED one on. When the other switch is pressed, LED one off and LED two on. So these are uh, some basic tasks I would like you to do with switches, okay. I'll just show you this too so that you get an idea of how to do that and then you can continue with the other things. So up down counter using switch, first of all, let us copy this entire code, take it into a new folder or new sketch and then save it as up down counter switch. Now what I will do here is along with this two <coughs> switch one switch two declaration, I will declare a variable called count which by default is zero. And now what I am going to do is probably you might have understood it very well till now. So if switch one is pressed, what I will do is count plus plus serial dot print count equal to then serial dot print ln count and a delay of 1000. So the count will be incremented, it will be printed on the serial port and the delay of 1000 milliseconds. Similarly, we will do it for minus minus. The only thing we have to make sure about minus minus is you don't want to see values in the negative form. So I'll just do this. If count is less than zero, count is zero. This is a single line if condition. Therefore, you can skip the curly brackets. Remember, if there are multiple lines in if condition, then you have to have the curly bracket opening and close. But if it is a single condition, you can skip that. So my program is done. Let's see the output. So I will upload it into the system now and we'll try to see again it will see <coughs> here it's important you don't want at all the count to be incremented by two times in a single switch press so you may want to uh, add the polling effect here it's called as polling when you on purpose stall the microcontroller stop the microcontroller from doing other things it's called as polling i have not done any polling here so Let's see, because I have added a one second of delay, which is usually sufficient to remove my finger from the switch. Now I clicked it once and count is one. I click it another time, count is two. I click it one more time, count is three. Now I will keep it pressed. So if I keep it pressed, then with a delay of one second, the count will keep incrementing. See, released. Now I will press switch 2, it becomes 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. After that it might have gone into the negative values but it won't because now we have written it that if it goes less than 0 then make it 0 and then you can increment it like this. Now this is just one example, in the same way you can have an LED declared make it on here, make it off here, make it any number of GPIOs on and off in this if conditions of switch press. <laughs> you can also make something like 
if digital rate switch one ampersand ampersand if digital rate switch two and just like that you can mix and match those conditions but for this session i will not add those complexities because i don't want you to be scared about it in the first attempt so this is the basic switch interface i hope you will be able to do this exercise please try to follow the breadboard tutorial that i'm going to add into this section please remember these tutorial videos for breadboard are not the current one they were shot almost a year ago but they are i think they should be sufficient for you to get an idea of how to interface with breadboard if you already know about the breadboard then you may skip this lessons but if not there is nothing to uh, there is no harm in refreshing some of the knowledge that's about it for this video guys try to do these exercises and let me know if you face any issues thank you